Peyton, what was said amongst you guys after the Milwaukee game? Uh, just moved on to the next. I mean, we just, it's my language. We just took an ass whooping and moved it on. So, uh, but it happened. I mean, they shot it well. We played really bad. So, just, you just move on from those. What does this response say, and, and does it speak to that? Um, I just think we just bounced back, started playing like regular, got our legs back under us. So, uh, you know, took care of home court. That's all that really matters. What's the kind of the value of these reps in garbage time? Maybe or when it's a blowout the last two games, and you know you can kind of see the ball go through the net a little bit. I mean, I don't ever look at it like garbage time. It's, it's an opportunity for me to hoop. You know, I'm not in there for the first or third quarter, so that is my time. So I don't look at it like that. I mean, everybody's NBA guys at the end of the day, so it's a top level of basketball here. It looks like you want to go hug Ema after the game. What was kind of the emotions of that like? Well, I've known them forever since I've been a little kid. They're from Portland, where I'm from. So I've been around them since I've been a little one. Uh, I've been around the game with them. So uh, I will always have a close connection with them. What was it like facing off against him for the first time? Was it different? Weird? Uh, a little bit, but, I mean, they're competitors. I mean, they're a great coaching staff. He's a great coach. And we just, I don't know, it's just another game. So, so uh, And I think they felt the same way. We have a night like this where... You won basically because of the three point shooting. What's the message after the game? Like, obviously, it's a big win. You're going to be happy about that. But as far as the other facets of the game, I think we're still trying to improve on that. And, uh, you know, that's the process of trying to be the best team in the league. You're always imp- trying to improve defensively, uh, cleaning up all those type of areas. Because, you know, when we get to playoff time, that's where everything is, all weaknesses are shown. So we're trying to clean it all up. When Jason and Jalen are playing at that level on both ends, what does that do for the rest of us? It ups our standard. If uh, your best players are playing special on both ends, you got to bring it on both ends as well. And so, you know, we follow their lead, and when they're doing it, that's, that's when uh, great things happen. Joe mentioned like a few weeks ago that you and Sam specifically kind of like understood kind of the meaning of like being a role player. I guess what, what have, what's kind of like the process been like for that, um, and what have you kind of learned? I mean, just, you know, everybody kind of, I guess, knows their place on the team. But, I mean, you're just comfortable with the situation and you're just doing what you can to help the team win every other night. And that means a lot of, can mean a lot of different things. Uh, so, I guess that's really it. Uh, Joe voiced it for the first time. Sam, like a lot of people see a white shooter, don't think he can play defense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you feel like you get some of that, but also how know. good is Sam? I don't know if I, uh, Sam is good. He competes really <laughs> <laughs> he, he competes really hard and like <laughs> like I mean like it, it probably does play into it the color of his skin a little bit but uh, he keeps people in front makes them hit tough shots and he's a competitor so do you think people assume that about you as well mm, I don't know maybe I don't see him go at me as much but we'll see <laughs> thank, thank you, you thank you. thanks man